Hey guys, what's up? So today's video I'm going to be doing some uh, Valentine's Day makeup, serious makeup, Valentine's Day makeup, serving looks, you know what I mean. So I'm starting off with some facial oil and I'm putting it on my face, making my face really moisturized. And then I'm going in with some primer. This is a Nivea Men's aftershave balm thingy. It's like, or no, it's not the Nivea one, it's the number seven men. Yeah, that's the one. And then I'm taking some baby skin from Maybelline and it's like another primer that's gonna like fill your pores make them look smaller and I'm mixing uh, Revlon's BB cream uh, L'Oreal's foundation I forgot what it's called it was just on the screen true match I think I don't know um and uh, the Maybelline the velvet touch I think it just said it's the very moosey one I'm mixing all of them because I'm really trying to use more of my drugstore foundations because I have the Marc Jacobs one and I love it so much but it's quite pricey and I don't want to use it too often um, more for just like special events so I'm trying to get a more full coverage look with drugstore foundations and this actually got pretty nice like coverage on it I mean like you can still see some of my imperfections but hey we're all imperfect, just like Hannah Montana said. But yeah, so I'm just blending the foundation on my skin and I'm also doing concealer. As you can see here, I'm using a Real Techniques, Real Techniques uh, uh, blending sponge, fake beauty blender thing. And then I'm taking some uh, darker foundation and I'm using it to contour with. And this is just a sample of like the Kat Von D foundation or no, the Makeup Forever uh, foundation, yeah, that's what it is. And then I'm just blending it because I haven't tried this trick before and I actually really like it. Just use a darker foundation instead of like a cream contour, you know? And so yeah, here you can just see me blending, blending away. And now I'm going in with my loose setting powder and I'm baking with it. This is the Airspun loose face powder and I really like it. It's like $8. And I am going underneath the cheekbones. Very carving, very, very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Ja, I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean. Slayed, uh, carved. Yeah, I don't remember the word, but yeah. So now I'm just contouring with some uh, contouring powder. Uh, real fun. Look at me. Look at me go. This is great. Hey, I <laughs> how you guys doing? Haven't talked to you in a while. Missed you guys. Hmm. Yeah, but so you can just see that's what I'm doing. And I am brushing it away with more uh, powder, but this is actually a pressed powder instead of the loose powder. This is the... Um, uh, I forgot what it was called. I'll put it on the screen. And then I'm going in with my brows. And this part actually is very sad. But it got cut off. My camera has been messing up so hardcore the past few days. Every time I try to film. But yeah, so I'm... Uh, you can already see my brows are done. Sorry about that, guys. But um, I'm going in with the Modern Renaissance palette. Probably one of my favorite palettes on the market. It is so beautiful. But I just put uh, Tempora. Tempera. I don't really know the word all over my lid and then I'm going in with the color warm taupe into my crease and I do a lot of colors on this so stay with me and now I'm going in with okay ignore how I pronounce it but Buon Fresco I don't really know but it's a really soft like pink you can see it like I'm just blending it into the crease even more and then I'm going in with the color Oh gosh, it was, oh yeah, it was this one. It was red ochre. <laughs> um, it's a really pretty, like, burnt, like, um, brick red. Brr, brick red, yeah. It's a really pretty brick red. <laughs> and I really like it. And then I'm going in with a really pretty pink color. It is called Love Letter. Perfect for Valentine's Day. Am I wrong? I don't think so. I think it's perfect. I think it was fate. Um, but yeah, so I'm just blending more of le le Love Letter into my outer corner. Kind of giving it like an outer V kind of vibe. You feel me? And now I'm going in with this other color in the palette. It's called Venetia. Oh my god, I can't pronounce it. Okay, it's V-E-N-E-T-I-A-N. -E I feel like that's an easy word to pronounce, but like for some reason can't do it. Venet Venetian? 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 
Venetian red. I don't really know. But it's really pretty and I'm just blending that into my crease and outer corner. And then I'm taking more of red ochre and I'm blending that into it. I did a lot of blending. I just really like layering. Um, yeah, so then in my outer corner, outer V, I'm definitely going to be taking Cypress Umber, which is a beautiful matte dark brown. Super, super pretty. And this palette's amazing in pigment. Like, you know when you have, like, shimmer shades and, like, you put them on, like, a brush and, like, the brush doesn't pick up the pigment and you have to use your finger? Uh, look at that. Like, the brush did that. You see? Do you see what I'm talking about? Like, a so good. I love the pigment in this palette. It's crazy. The mattes are beautiful. The shimmers are amazing. Like, y'all get this palette. Like, seriously, like, if you like the colors, like, you are gonna fall in love with this palette. Um, highly, highly recommend. 10 out of 10. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm just putting that in my inner corner as well. Oh, and the shimmer color is called Vermeer. It's a really pretty shimmer color from the palette. And this whole eyeshadow look was used from this palette. So that's the eyeshadow look just by itself. And then I'm putting more Vermeer on my brow bone. I forgot to show you that. <laughs> but yeah, so that is that. And I'm just blending it. Blend, 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 blend. Blend, 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 blend. And this part got cut off, but I did my lower lash line with more of the eyeshadow. And I did my eyeliner. I know, I'm so... I hate my <laughs> camera, guys, I swear. But so now I'm putting on eyelashes and here you are watching me struggle with them because I suck at putting on eyelashes. It's it's really great, I know. And now look at them, boom. These are the Huda or Huda Beauty uh, Scarlet eyelashes. They are my favorite eyelashes I've ever owned. Totally recommend them. They're worth the money. Super, super pretty on any eye shape. Um, and I'm just putting on some lower eyelash mascara. And then I'm contouring a little bit more with more like bronzer stuff. And then I'm going in with this highlighter. It's actually like an old Ulta. Oh, I burped. Hello. Um, old Ulta. Uh, old Ulta. That's a tongue twister. Old Ulta light pink eyeshadow. And then I'm going in with the Wet n Wild eyeshadow over it. And then I'm going, or not eyeshadow, it's actually a Wet n Wild highlighter. It's the pink one, really bomb. And then I'm going in with the Moonchild palette, the highlighting palette from Honest Alexander Beverly Hills. And I'm going in with Pink Heart, perfect for this Valentine's Day. Look, it is so pretty. I'm obsessed with it. And I pack on a lot of highlighter, because hi, <laughs> I'm Raina, nice to meet ya. Um, and I put it in my inner corner, and I'm putting on some blush from Ulta as well. And I'm going in with the Kylie lip kit in love bite um but my camera loves cutting off so you're gonna see it cut off real real soon um it's coming and here it is um so yeah i just said my camera shut off sorry won't let me film anymore but i love i love you guys and happy national single awareness day because me all right love you guys bye